Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at virtual backgrounds for Microsoft Teams. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now you've probably seen these meetings on Microsoft Teams and some people are able to use virtual backgrounds. Now I often get the question, where is this functionality and how do I access it? Well, today we're going to dive right into it. Now let's start by opening up Microsoft Teams in the browser. Now here within Microsoft Teams, at the top right corner, we can start a meeting. And when I click on that drop down box right here, I can start a meeting right now. Now you can see the preview window right here. And then as soon as I join the meeting, my meeting is in session. Now there's only one little problem here. When I join this meeting and I click on those three dots, there is no virtual background. And that's the question I keep getting from people. Where is my virtual background? I'm supposed to see it right here. Well, that's because we are in the browser version of Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams has two versions, a browser version that you can use online in the cloud and you don't have to install anything. They also have an installed version. That's where you install the software onto your device and then you have some additional features. So let's end this meeting right here, click on hang up, and we're going to close our browser. Now I already have Microsoft Teams installed, so let's go ahead and open it up now. We're going to select Microsoft Teams, and this opens up my software version of Microsoft Teams. Again, this is not the browser version, but the locally installed version. Here, when I go to my meeting at the top right, I can start a meeting now, and then again, we get that preview window, just the same as with the browser version. Now, as soon as I click on meet now, I get the same interface. Everything looks the same. However, when I click on my three dots right now, I have a number of additional features. I can enter my full screen. And then here we have our background effects. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of the available effects. And then let's add our own as well. We're going to click on show background effects. And on the right hand side, you see a number of effects. Now at the moment there is no effect and I'm not using any effects for my background. So let's change that. We're going to select this one right here. And then in order for us to see what this will look like, we can click on preview. Now it's important to note when we click on preview, we see a small window in the bottom right corner, but none of the attendees see this preview. That means that you can make sure that your background is working all right. Everything looks good before you make it active. So you can see here, I have a preview of this background now again, as with all virtual backgrounds, movements are sometimes difficult to interpret. We have a number of different backgrounds here. And at the top, you see this add new button. And when we click on add new, we can add our own image files to use as a background. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to click on add new. And I've already downloaded two files here. And I will leave a link in the description below to pexels.com which is a place where I found these images and you can find hundreds and hundreds of beautiful images that you can use as virtual backgrounds. Now we're going to select this coconut tree here. There we go, it's being added to my list and then I can select it as one of my choices. I now have that background behind me, but again, as you can see, movement is a little bit tricky, but let's just leave it as it is and let's go and apply this now. Now, as soon as I click on apply and turn on video, every attendee in the meeting will see myself and that virtual background. Now the virtual backgrounds will work much better if you're in front of a plain colored wall. Now I'm in my studio here, so I have a lot of colors behind me, which makes it much harder to recognize the background clearly. Now you can also obviously apply the no background option right here and then simply click on apply. So to quickly summarize, yes, you can add your own virtual backgrounds in Microsoft Teams. The only important thing to remember is that it is currently not supported within the browser version. So if you would like to use virtual backgrounds within Microsoft Teams, make sure that you've downloaded the software. A locally installed copy will allow you to do just that. Now for even more on Microsoft Teams, click on the playlist or select the video suggested below. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one.